Even though the industry of selling 3D assets is relatively small, it is growing fast in recent years, with a growing demand from industries like game development, VR, AR, and architecture. In this video, we're going to talk about ways to reach more sellers and possibly generate an astronomically higher number of sales that will allow you to surpass $100,000 per year. This video is brought to you by Sketchfab, a platform for buying and selling 3D models online. Their store has a lot of high quality models to choose from using a great model inspector. Links in the description. Creating a website or a marketplace. There are a lot of 3D artists out there trying to create their own marketplaces for selling 3D assets like 3D models, animated characters, and more. But a big chunk of the endeavor you are going to embark on by trying to create your own marketplace is realizing the difference between running a marketplace and working in 3D modeling as an artist like you always did. A marketplace does not have to be a big one from the start, like TurboSquid, CG Trader, or Sketchfab because you can launch a website where you upload your own models and invite some of the other artists to sell on it as well. And you can call it a marketplace. But at the end of the day, working as a 3D artist and running a marketplace are quite different. And the rewards and satisfaction are only marginally related because creating 3D models is an art while running your own platform is a business and you need to be aware of that beforehand so you don't get caught in a situation where you can't get out. Selling on big platforms versus on your own site. Creating 3D models is fun at the end of the day because there is always a project or a thing you have made and you move on to the next thing until you create a collection or finish a scene or something like that. Meaning you are only responsible for doing your job as an artist who puts his artwork to be sold on big platforms like TurboSquid, CG Trader, Sketchfab, and so on. And you will do nothing after that other than working on other models and talking to some clients a few times a week if you need to for asking questions about your models or changing a few things, or if they want you to create custom models for them. On the other hand, building a marketplace or a website for selling 3D models includes dealing with many people at the same time and making sure that everyone is happy. One of the differences compared to working as a solo 3D model seller is that having a website or a platform for selling 3D models is a continuous process and you can't take a break from it because it is never really done, which means you are on the creative sidelines and you will take satisfaction in others being able to build careers that they wouldn't have had without you. You can't at the start let things work on autopilot if you are just starting out. But if other artists want to start to sell on your website and more clients start coming in, things will be different and you will need a bunch of new and different skills to run this business successfully. Unfortunately, most artists are not savvy when it comes to business or they are not interested because it is too dry for them. One of the things you need to know and apply successfully and continuously if you want to run a small marketplace is first of all marketing. Because if no one knows about your little website, no one will visit it, let alone buy it from you. To be honest, this is one of the biggest problems if you want to launch your own website. And it is one of the most important reasons why most people sell on big marketplaces. Marketing leads to bringing traffic to your website and turning visitors to paying customers. You can do this through one of two very obvious ways, or you can use both of them if you want to. First, you either have cash reserves that you are willing to spend on ads, or other similar means of advertising for your platform. The second thing is if you have a strong presence online, like a famous blog, or a Facebook page, or YouTube channel. For example, if I want to create a platform for selling 3D models, it will be easier for me compared to you because I can convert traffic from my YouTube videos to a website using different methods. There is actually two guys from Flip Normals doing this already. They have a strong presence online and they are running Google Ads as well. In addition to marketing, when your website becomes bigger, you will need customer support, meaning you will need more people, and with more sales, you will need to hire other people to do your accounting and taxes in addition to legal work to make sure that you are not going to jail because you are breaking laws that you don't know exist. In addition to that, you need to hire programmers to improve the website and customize it according to the needs of buyers and sellers. You will also need to hire people who will make sure that payments and money transactions are taking place successfully in and out of your business in addition to other things as well. This probably seems scary, but it is required to make the transition from being a seller on other people's website to become an owner of a platform or a website. But you can still do 3D work and artistic stuff 
in the business like selling your own collections on the website or building modeling standards and working on the file format conversion to streamline the process. Dealing with competition. There are lots of sites out there already and it is hard to build a large enough website that can be a very popular marketplace. Like any other project you want to do, there are probably people who have done it before and are doing it already successfully. In the case of websites of selling 3D models, there are tons of them. You just don't know they exist for similar reasons to what we talked about before. And from all the dozens of websites, the majority will not be the next Turbo Squid, but a few of them will rise to take their share of the market. The problem, I think, is not the fierce competition only, but lack of demand compared to supply because overall the industry is kind of small right now, but I am positive with the emergence of VR and AR and other industries that need 3D models, things will change for the better and demand will double many folds in the coming years. Creating your outsourcing studio. Another solution to create a business around selling 3D models is creating an asset outsourcing studio through which you will sell your work to clients on demand and you will sell the work online to other people through a website if clients are okay with it, of course. It is like doing freelance work and being paid for it in addition to selling the 3D models but on a much larger scale because many artists are working together on this. You don't necessarily have to hire these artists to work for you. You can just work separately at home and agree to sell high quality and professional assets on a website that will grow fast compared to trying to grow it on your own. This is all good and positive in theory, but in reality, things are very hard and only those who are very serious and ambitious will be able to pull this off successfully because right now virtually everyone is selling through major marketplaces and most of those who are trying to launch their own websites are probably selling less than what they sell on major platforms and only a small handful of people have real revenue on their direct sites, but it does not hurt to try. How much time will it take? This is actually a crowded field. People have tried to compete by giving up margins to sellers and they are still doing it today, like for example giving sellers up to 95% of the sales which means less money for the website to encourage new people to come in. But if you should know one thing about business, it is that cash flow is everything because cash inside your business is like blood in the veins. And if cash runs out of the business, it dies. If you're not making money, you'll virtually spend nothing on marketing and reaching customers and end up struggling when it comes to bringing new people. Final thoughts. A lot of artists get discouraged when they think too much about these things from a monetary viewpoint and how much they will make from selling their art and all that BS. I would say that if you're new to the world of 3D modeling and selling 3D models online, don't even think about these things because it will kill your motivation and take away from your creativity and love for art. Just make sure you are good enough as a 3D artist and as you become better, probably start thinking about these things and maybe launch your own website or studio or something like that. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.